Sharks visiting Kernel Primary School as part of their One Heart program designed to combat racism. Nico Hines is a proud Indigenous man. Today he's speaking from the heart about soul-destroying racist attacks. I've got a different story compared to uh, a lot of the boys who go through the um, unfortunate race, racial slurs and racial remarks they cop. Um, but I, I just cop the different side of it. I cop that I'm not black enough. You know, I've been told that I'm too white to be Aboriginal and you know, I haven't been connected with my culture, so how can you be Aboriginal and just question who I am, my, my whole upbringing. The still injured Dahlia medalist has sat and watched the abuse at Latrell Mitchell's ward and he's happy to share his story to support Latrell. I've never been open to talk about it and um, be proud of my culture because of the, the, the questions I copped and uh, the people disregarding me as, as an Aboriginal man. And But now, you know, learning so much, being a part of the All-Stars and being around all the brothers in camp and seeing how much they care about who I am and me as a person and my identity, it's... It's pretty special. Nico's teammate Ronaldo Mulatalo has revealed the shocking abuse he received on social media after the South's loss. You just showed me some messages you've received. Um, how, does that eat at you or does it hurt you? Not so much me, it's more my family, you know what I mean? They, you know, no one wants to see their kid get abused like that, no one wants to see their partner get abused like that and you know, it's funny for me, it's just you know, another message I guess. I'm used to it now. and shouldn't have to be though. No, you shouldn't but... No, you're chasing an account that doesn't have a face behind it or you know, it's pretty easy to sit behind the phone in a computer and, and type those type of, type of things. He's got a message for the trolls. Just imagine if that was your child, I think. you know, People will kind of step back and realise, oh, maybe I should pull it up a bit. Danny Weidler, 9 News.